sorry if this sounds a little off, but I'm having to steal my nerves with a strong cup of tea. Because I've seen something I never thought I would see. A unicorn of a film. And I'm not sure if I should buy a lottery ticket or prepare for the rise of unknowable Lovecraftian horrors. For I have seen a good... A good... Steady... I'm just gonna have to say it. I have seen a good film starring Jai Courtney. I mean, it's not going in my top 10 or anything, and Jai Courtney is still the chipboard of wooden acting, but this is a good, solid, slightly ridiculous film set during the war. The plotline is very simple. Set in occupied Holland during 1940, a German soldier, played by Courtney, has to determine if the Dutch resistance has planted a spy in the Kaiser's home, but instead spends most of his time romancing a young maid, played by Lily James, who appears to be suffering from a terrible allergy to her clothing and an accent of undetermined origin. And it's a good thing that they did cast James, as well as Christopher Plummer playing a bewhiskered and very grumpy Kaiser, along with Janet McTeer as his prickly optimistic wife. Because they just about balance out Courtney. It's a near run thing, but they just just about balance him out. I mean, leaving aside the upstairs-downstairs forbidden romance between our two main characters, Courtney's attempts to find a spy, and that spy's attempts to remain hidden, the SS captain attempting to outdo Hair Flick, because with a small push, you could very easily turn this into an episode of Hello Hello, all of a sudden Heinrich Himmler pops around for tea, and things get really... interesting. With all that going on, along with several musings about ducks, it's a shame that the film takes itself so seriously. Whilst this is very, very roughly based on a true story, it could have done with a slightly lighter tone and maybe shaving its runtime by a good 10 minutes. Some chemistry between the main characters would have been nice, as well as hiding the identity of the spy so that we had some sort of mystery or plot to enjoy. As is, it's a good film that could have made for a cracking episode of Aloha Low or a great spy movie set in an almost forgotten corner of the war. Unfortunately, it's just very bland and doesn't seem to really know what it wants to do with itself. This is just an if nothing else film. If nothing else is on and you're desperate to check out what could have been a cracking spy thriller set during the war, then yeah, check this out. But if you'll excuse me, I'm off to the bomb shelter with my tea. But what did you guys think? And what is your favourite spy film set during the war? Comment below, let me know. I'm Daniel, this has been a dunking. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe.